Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of chemical bonding that is molecular orbital theory. This is in continuation of the previous video where we discussed the molecular orbital diagram for systems containing up to 14 electrons. And in this video we are going to discuss the MO diagram and MO configurations of molecules containing more than 14 electrons such as fluorine, oxygen etc. And also we will discuss their bond order, comparative stability, bond dissociation energy etc. In addition we can also see the type of magnetism such as paramagnetism or diamagnetism present in the molecule. So let's now see the molecular orbital configuration for systems containing more than 14 electron system. We have already seen that there is only one difference that is in the case of more than 14 electron system, we have after sigma star 2s, there comes sigma 2pz2, then only the pi 2px and pi 2py. So, this is the only difference in the MO configuration of systems having 14 electron, up to 14 and greater than 14 electron. The reason for this we have already discussed in the previous videos. So, after sigma star we have sigma 2pz, then pi 2px equal to pi 2py2, pi star 2px equal to pi star 2py2 and sigma star 2pz2. This is the MO configuration for compounds, molecules containing more than 14 electrons. So, based on this rule we can discuss the MO diagram for different systems. So let's take now oxygen molecule as the example. For oxygen molecule, first of all we have to write the atomic orbital, atomic configuration that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. We know each oxygen atom has 8 electrons, so the oxygen molecule has 16 electrons. So it is more than 14 electron system and its MO configuration is sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, sigma 2pz2, pi 2px2 equals pi 2py2, pi star 2px equals pi star 2py. Let us count the number of electrons 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Two more electrons are left, so they occupy singly in the pi star 2px and 2py as per Hunt's rule. So now let's count the number of electrons in bonding. That is uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And number of electrons in anti-bonding 2, 4, 5 and 6. So bond order <coughs> is equal to half into 10 minus 6 that is 4 by 2, 2. This means that there is a double bond between the two oxygen atoms in the case of oxygen molecule. So let us see the MO diagram for oxygen molecule. This is the MO diagram for oxygen molecule. We have to show the energy it is increasing. The atom labels should be there. The atomic orbital should be shown on either side and electrons. We have two electrons each in the 1s atomic orbital and configuration MO configuration sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 likewise we have two electrons each in the 2s and in the 2p we have four electrons so the MO configuration sigma 2p z2 pi 2p x2 pi 2p y2 pi star 2 p x1 pi star 2 p y1. So this is the MO diagram for oxygen molecule and uh, from the MO diagram we can also predict the magnetic behavior of the molecule that is from the MO configuration. If there is unpaid electrons present in the MO configuration such system such molecules are paramagnetic in nature or they are having a very small magnetic moment. So in this case we can see the pi star orbital, the antibonding pi orbital has one unpaired electron each. That means there are two total unpaired electrons and because of the presence of this unpaired electrons the molecule is paramagnetic in nature. Whereas in the case of nitrogen 
we have seen all the orbitals are fully occupied or all the orbitals are paired and hence the molecule is said to be diamagnetic that means it is not having any magnetic moment so here it is paramagnetic due to the presence of unpaired electrons now let's take the example of fluorine molecule we know the atomic orbital configuration of fluorine is 1s2 2s2 2p5 it contain 9 electron so a fluorine molecule contain total 18 electrons and we know it is more than 14 electron system so the mo configuration is sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 then sigma 2p z2 pi 2p x2 equal to pi 2p y2 pi star 2p x2 equal to pi star 2p y2 so you can count 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 electrons so now we can calculate the bond order for that number of electrons in bonding orbital is 2 4 6 8 10 and number of electrons in anti bonding orbital is 2 4 6 and 8 so bond order is equal to half into 10 minus 8 that is 2 by 2 1 that means there is a single bond connecting the two fluorine atoms in the fluorine molecule now let's see the mo diagram for fluorine molecule mo diagram for fluorine molecule <laughs> so this is the mo diagram and we we have to fill the electrons we have we have to first fill the atomic orbital we have 1s2 2s2 2p5 and the mo configuration sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 sigma 2p z2 pi 2p x2 equal to pi 2p y2 pi star 2p x2 equal to pi star 2p y2 so this is the mo diagram for fluorine molecule and we know since there are no unpaired electrons in any of the orbitals the molecule is diamagnetic in nature hence in conclusion we have discussed in this video the molecular orbital diagram for molecules containing more than 14 electron systems including fluorine molecule oxygen molecule etc we have also calculated the bond order and comparison of the bond order bond uh, stability bond dissociation energy etc based on bond order value we have also discussed the magnetism present in the molecule whether it is paramagnetic or diamagnetic based on the number of unpaired electrons present in the mo configuration so these are all the essence of this video in the coming videos we can discuss about the molecular orbital diagrams of uh, heteronuclear diatomic molecule the in this case we have discussed the homonuclear diatomic molecule that means the uh, molecules containing the uh, both the atoms same that is both the nucleus same that is called homonuclear diatomic and there are other cases like uh, diatomic molecules with different nucleus for example carbon monoxide so for such heteronuclear diatomic molecule the mo diagram will be slightly different from this and that we can discuss in the next video hope you all understood this concept if you have any doubts regarding this you can put it in the comment box thank you all